Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiality part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. Let's take some uh, theorem here. The theorem says that if f and g are real valid function such that f o g is defined. Please note, if f o g is defined, then only this function exists, this theorem exists. And also, if g is continuous at c, f is also continuous at c, then f o g is continuous at c. See, till now what we have done, till now what we have seen, actually, till now we have seen that if f is, is continuous at x is equal to c on g, right? g is continuous at x is equal to c then i say f plus g is continuous at x is equal to c f minus g is continuous f by g is continuous and f into g is continuous these things we have learned now i'm saying is if f and g are continuous at x is equal to c and f o g is defined f o g is defined so if you don't know what is f o g and g o f you can just watch my class 11th video where we explain this what is f o g and g o f so if f o g is defined then f o g is also continuous at x please note if f o g is defined or even g o f is defined then g o f is also continuous at x is equal to c we'll take some example to prove this kind of concept uh, where no we have uh, we use f o g concept so let's take we have this example of f x equal to mod of cos x so if you see it's a difficult question or means it's a terrifying question because one thing is no cos x and all i hate cos x sin x plus it's mod of cos x i don't know whether mod of cos x is a continuous function or not but i know that mod of x is continuous and i know that cos x is also continuous these things we have done if you don't know that cos x or mod of x is continuous or not watch the previous videos of the same chapters where we have discussed that mod x and cos x are continuous function. So the same function if we can represent in this fashion where let's suppose you know my gx is mod of x right and hx is cos of x correct so my goh is nothing but mod of cos x correct so what I'm saying mod of cos x i am breaking into mod of x and cos x why because i know mod of x and cos x are continuous function so in this case what i have done i have broken this uh, guy and i can write as f of x here only f of x is nothing but g o h here g of x is mod x continuous h of x is again cos x is again a continuous function so I know that this guy is continuous, this guy is continuous. So this guy has to be a continuous function. If this guy is continuous function, fx is also a continuous function, hence both. Very simple. Let's take one more example. fx is equal to cos x square. So here also if you see, I know x square is a continuous function. I know no, cos x is also a continuous function. So if I merge this guy, if I merge this guy, if I say hx is equal to cos x and gx is equal to x square and then I can say that hog is nothing but cos of x square. Please note it is not gof, it is hog because first you take x square and then you get the cos. First you get x square and then you get the cos. x square then cos. So first this guy g and then h so h o g so this guy is also continuous function h o g is nothing but my f x so if the h x is continuous g x is continuous h of g h o g has to be continuous and h o g is nothing but f x so f x is also a continuous function let's take one more simple example so here we have to prove that uh, this complex guy, you know, uh, mod of 1 minus x plus mod of x is a continuous function. 
here also we know that if you break this uh, function I know mod x is a continuous function this I know so this guy is a continuous function if this guy is a continuous function 1 minus x is also a continuous function I know correct and mod x is also a continuous function so let's suppose this is ax and this is bx so if you add these two you get a x plus bx that is 1 minus x plus mod x so this guy is also continuous why because this two guys are continuous and this guy is nothing but summation of ax plus bx so this whole thing is continuous so this is easy to prove that a minus x plus mod x is continuous but there is one more mod here so this is nothing but one example where I am talking about fog or gof why because for the whole function I am adding I am taking one more function so here if I say my let's suppose gx is mod of x and hx is this guy 1 minus x plus mod x so fx is nothing but g of h why you take the x first h first that is 1 minus x plus mod x and on that you add one more mod that is g so it becomes g o h this guy hx is a continuous function how we can see that hx is nothing but ax plus bx where ax and bx are continuous function so hx is continuous function gx is continuous function we know so g of h is also a continuous function since g of h is also a continuous function this is nothing but fx so fx is also a continuous function thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.